Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored video. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for Transformers Legacy Skids. And this decal set includes two decal sheets on foil backing. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at skids, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Skids looks really good and has a decent amount of paint applications. Taking a closer look at the figure, starting with the head, love the paint applications on the face. Actually, I love that face sculpt in general. Silver face with blue eyes, big red Autobot logo there on top of the chest with a gray grill with yellow headlights. There's some red right there. Let's see, side of the figure, we've got red and silver stripes along the door wings. Uh, moving on down, we got red and silver stripes on the side of the calves. So all in all, Skids looks really good and fairly close to his Generation 1 counterpart. But I can't wait to see what Toy Hacks has in store for him. So there you go guys, one final look at Skids in robot mode before and after. Skids Robot Mode gets a lot of G1 toy inspired decals thanks to Toy Hacks. Now taking a closer look at the figure starting here with the head, he gets a new decal there on top of the crest and new eye decals. You do have options. You could go with blue like I have or there is yellow decals right there which looks more Marvel but I like the blue on my Autobots. He gets a new stripe there along the bumper, a vanity license plate that says Skids. You do have options. I'll go over those more in vehicle mode. Chrome accents for the headlights. There on the shoulders, he gets a red decal in the center along with chrome around the rim. New decals there for the bicep and here on the forearms. Also new headlight decals, or excuse me, signal light decals here and here. I guess those are fog lights. So the yellow looks a lot better than the red. Also signal lights right there. Moving on down to the waist, he gets new decals right there for the stomach area, red decals for the crotch, and new striped chrome decals on the thighs. Red dot decals there on the knees, gray triangles right there above the feet, and kind of circuitry decals right there on well, right above the foot as well. Here on the side of the shins, those are very, very G1 inspired decals there. And let's see, we got circuitry decals there on the forearms. So I love how he looks now. And let's go ahead and bring in Generation 1 skid so you can take a look at all of the throwback decals, starting right there with the ones on the calves, the knees, the striped chrome on the shins, the decals there on the waist and the arms and the shoulders. I love that. I love any time Toy Hacks gives me G1 toy throwbacks on a modern figure. So there you go, guys. Skids in robot mode after. In vehicle mode, straight out of the packaging, Skids doesn't look near as good as he did in robot mode. Taking a closer look at the vehicle, my biggest complaint is I cannot get that top to tab in flush. I couldn't for my regular review. I haven't been able to since I transformed him after the fact. I That just annoys me. But the big gaps aside, do not like the transparent windows. You can see all of the robot junk there on the inside and I think that really, really 
takes away from the looks of this vehicle. The front of the vehicle is the same as the robot mode chest. You got the big red Autobot insignia there, yellow headlights, gray grill, and the red right there on the bottom. The gray and silver stripes along the sides. Pinned in wheels. Well, one's pinned. That one looks clipped. Mm, let's see. Missed opportunity with windows right there. And the back. Very well sculpted, but definitely needs some attention as far as details are concerned. So yes, this vehicle is in dire need of toy hacks. So there you go, guys. One final look at skids in vehicle mode before and after. And gaps aside, skids vehicle mode looks awesome now. And the first decals you're probably noticing are the new window decals, and I love those. Window decals go all the way around the vehicle. You get the decals that cover up the translucent plastic here on the side and the front windshield. Also, window decals for where it was implied a window was and a new rear window decals there on the back. Now, I like how those are separated to allow the transformation. He also gets, for some reason, yellow brake lights down here, tail lights as well, a handle for the hatchback, new decal here along the back, and a vanity license plate that says skids. You do have some options for the license plate, and here they are right here. The one I like is Charlene. For you old school G1 Marvel fans, that was the woman that kind of befriended Skids after he had amnesia back in the Marvel Comics days. Here on the side of the vehicle, he gets a little turbo decal there. And that is pretty much it. I did want to point out that I did leave off a, v a decal here on top. Normally, I don't not put a decal on. But I liked the tinted black there for the sunroof. I didn't really go over this in the before, but you can't really see a lot of the robot junk on the inside. And I just like the look of the tinted sunroof because I had an old vehicle back in the day that had one of those. So it's pure nostalgia for me. So yeah, this is a great looking vehicle mode in Toy Hacks, you nailed it. So there you go guys, skids in vehicle mode after. Toy Hacks once again impressed me with their decal set for Legacy Skids. Like I said, I love the Generation 1 toy decals. I think it really makes the robot mode pop. And what they did for vehicle mode was amazing. It's just too bad they don't have a decal that can fix the gaps that I have in my figure. I don't know if mine is a bad figure or what because I've seen other reviews where all the panels are nice and flush. Unfortunately, not the case with mine, but that's neither here nor there. We're talking about these Toy Hacks decals, and man, I love them. Toy Hacks, great job as usual. You knocked this one out of the park. I can't wait to see what you have in store for the rest of the Legacy line. So yeah, if you have a Legacy Skids, I highly recommend this set especially if you're an old school g one -er. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I have a new super thanks button, and I also offer channel memberships. And I have to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime. Signing out. Hello!